First and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha Raka Kodash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach his truth well, and that continue to teach his truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters teaching this word in truth and in sincerity okay i'm gonna get into this lesson me per se i don't really i don't really like to do lessons like this because sometimes it feels like i'm banging my head against a brick wall but these lessons have to be done because when we come into the truth who is the who's our worst enemy it's ourselves so it, it would be wise knowing that every single day we examine ourselves before before we make any judgments we examine ourselves before we're doing anything we examine ourselves let's quickly go to james 2 because some guys they just don't get it they think this truth is all about just cursing someone out the scriptures say show my people did transgressions but it's not all one way you don't just come into this truth because Esau you had a bad day at work or you're using this truth as a type for, for some type of agenda just to curse people out you've got to make sure you're right first oh man let's go to James 3 I don't want to make this a long lesson 3 so like your James 2 and 17 even so faith if it have not works is dead alone being dead alone so, yeah, so, so like yeah, is dead being alone yeah a man say there has faith bear me just a minute I'm on the wrong one so lucky like about this verse 10 so lucky like we're gonna go to James verse 3 so lucky like James verse 2 it's been a long day James 2 and 11 for he that said do not commit adultery and you know what adultery is sleeping with another man's woman Another woman that's what married, engaged to another man. So are you one that talks about adultery? Yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor. Let's read that again. For he said, do not commit adultery. For he that said, do not commit adultery. Don't commit adultery. Stop sleeping with other men's women. Said also, do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, that become a transgressor of the law. So you might be saying, well, example. Here's an, here's an, here's an example. All right. You don't steal. But you commit adultery. You don't commit adultery, but you steal. You see what I mean? So let's read that again. For he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now if thou commit adultery, commit no adultery, yet if thou kill... Thou become a transgressor of the law. So this is why you have to apply. You can't be telling others, don't do this, but you're doing it yourself. You can't be saying, oh, uh, you got to love your brother, but you have hate for your brother. And it shows, it comes out. You can't be saying, don't commit adultery, but you're, you're a known adulterer. You're known for sleeping with other people. You can't do that. Because you know what that makes you? A hypocrite. And you will be judged for that. Especially if you come into the truth and you know better. That's why this truth is about sincerely repentant. And the I've got to do this lesson because the Passover is approaching. Okay? And you know what? You shouldn't have to wait till Passover to get right. All year round. Everyday thing is repentance. For who's... Bear me just a minute. So speak ye, and so do, as they shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have no judgment without mercy, that have shown no mercy. Even in this truth, we do with mercy. Don't expect to be shown mercy if you're not showing mercy yourself. And mercy rejoice against judgment. Because why? Because men are fast to what? To judge. And the men that are like that, you find out when you examine these men, they're doing a whole bunch of wickedness behind closed doors. That's why we always got to make sure we're right. And when you know you're right, when you know you've repented, 
that's when you can make what? More of a what? Solid judgment on a matter. We don't come into this truth to say, to, to, to point the fit. We don't come into the truth for that. Yeah, we judge our people, but it's according. If they go off, we tell them and we warn them. There's a way to do things. Because you don't see the apostles acting like that. You don't see them acting like that, the elder apostles. Everything's in balance. Men come into this truth and think it's all about cursing out. No, it's more than that. <sighs> Fucking disgraceful. Bear me just a minute. It's, 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 the, it's these things, man. It's these type of things, this type of behaviour. Have you changed? Is there any progression? Have you changed at all? Are you just that same man? Bear me just a minute. It's, 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 it, this ain't being accepted, okay? This type of behaviour, them niggerisms. Men are coming to the truth and they haven't put off the old man. They, still, they, they, they haven't put off the old man at all. They just bring that nigger into the truth. Let's go into Matthew 7. And we're going to go straight to 7. And I've been, I went, I've done a lesson on this last week. Judge not that you be not judged. It doesn't mean you cannot judge. You're still judging. But it's saying that because if you're judging a man on a matter. And you're doing all this type of wickedness. Then what? You're going to be judged accordingly. And that's why Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai, what is one of the main things he hates? Hypocrisy. For with that judgment you judge, you shall be judged. So the same judgment you're judging out, you're going to be judged by that same standard that you're judging others by. And with what measure you meet, it, you meet, it shall be measured to you again. So ho however far you want to go with these judgments, it's going to be measured right back to you. There's a saying, what goes around comes back around. This is very serious. And why behold is the moat that is in thy brother's eye? What's a moat? You could say it's a stick, it's a brudge, like this image. A big ass smoke in his eye. Which it doesn't mean a stick, it means a problem, an issue. You have issues of yourself. Okay? You might be, I don't know, you might be an alcoholic. You might be an adulterer or whatever. Okay, but you've got issues of yourself. You might have um, an anger issue. Whatever it may be. Okay? You may be, have a problem, a uh, uh, or a, a smoking problem where you're still smoking but you're telling others not to smoke make sure you're not doing any of these things that you're getting on others about because you will be the Lord will jack you up bad for that and he may even cast you out because you did not come into the truth with what? with sincerity and why behold is the mold in thy brother's eye but consider not the beam that is in thy own eye here it is you're getting on your brother but you've got a whole bag of issues yourself so how does that make you look silly especially if your brother's repented if you if you know your brother's repented and he's on the right path leave him alone why are you bothering him you want to bring up his past but he's a changed man and you're still a nigger so what do you think is going to happen to you or how would i say to that brother let me pull out the mouth of that ah, yeah brother you got an issue you okay you do this you do that but hold on a minute. And behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite. What's a hypocrite? An actor. First cast out a beam out of thy own eye. That problem, that issue. Make sure whatever serious issue you had, that's gone. Then you can judge. Then shall thou clearly cast out of the mouth of thy, out of thy brother's eye. You're not going to be able to judge. And why does that say that? Because with you having a bigger issue, it's going to be harder for you. To examine somebody else's issue until you've done with your issue. That's why it says malt in the eye. You got a big ass plank in your eye, but you're trying to you're trying to uh, 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 look for a plank in another brother's eye. A issue. This is serious. That would this is very serious. What we're dealing with, especially when it comes to judging matters, is very serious. Once you cast that issue out, once you've done what you've done, you've repented. You're on the right path, that's when you can make a better judgment. But until then, you can't, because you've got issues of yourself. That's not, that's not wise. 
you, you, you get off on sleeping with another man's woman. You know, according to the law, you should be put to death for that. This is why this truth is about repentance. You glory in that. It's a fucking nigger. Excuse my language. That's a, that's a nigger. You glory in that. Taking another man's woman. Again, what is that tie in with? Envy. Jealousy. This is why these are not good traits to have. Especially if you call yourself a man of the Lord. Because if you're jealous, if you're envious, you're going to cove it. And what are you going to cove it? Many things. A man's possession. And what's a man's, a man's main possession? His woman. Oh, man. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. We're going to shut off on this. And it says, examine yourself. This is Paul speaking. So, what does it mean to examine oneself? You're scrutinizing yourself. To examine. So every day we scrutinize ourselves. I can do this better. I can do that better. You know? Whether you be in the faith. Okay? Prove your own selves. Prove means test. Dokimos. Know you not your own selves. So you're supposed to know yourself. What your weaknesses are. And what your strengths are. And with your weaknesses. You work on your weaknesses. So what? You have more strengths. It'd be harder for Satan to really mess with you because you now you you're 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 somewhat more grounded. How that you have a shamashak is in you, except you be reprobate. And what's that word reprobate mean? Strong's G ninety six, Adakimos. 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 And that's spiritual because when you go into that word test, it's dokimos. And when you go into this word reprobate, it's a dokimos. Outland biblical usage, okay? Not standing the test. And that's why the scriptures talk about trials. So, with your trials, that's going to show what type of manner of man you are. Not standing the test. And part of that comes in many ways. Your trials could be with family, could be with taking rebuke. Where a, lot, where a lot of men, they can't take rebuke. So what? They end up falling out, going back into the world. Not approved, okay? Not tr not really tried out, not proving yourself. Properly used of metals and coins, um, which does not prove itself such as it ought. That's why this is between you and Yahweh Shai. Unfit for unproved, spurious, reprobate. In other words, you're just like a, you, you're just like a brute beast. No control of it, nothing. Rejected. Worthless, literally or morally, cast away, rejecting. This is what we don't want. That's why the scriptures say, examine thyself, whether that be in the faith, except you be reprobates. But I trust that you shall that you shall know that we are not reprobates. Okay. This is why this is a constant thing of self-examination. This lesson, what's it mainly about? If you know you're doing a particular thing, you know. Pray to Yahweh about it and make sure you're not telling others not to do that same thing that you're doing. Because if you're doing that, you're putting yourself in a position of you having a scope on yourself by the Heavenly Father and the Son and the angels. Then what men? Because then you're going to be seen as a phony and actor. Someone that just tells everybody else to do something, but you're not doing it yourself. Okay? Remember what the scriptures say in James 1 and 22. But be ye a doer of the word and hearers not own and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Because you're only you're only fooling yourself, you're not fooling anybody else. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying, and until the next time, shalom.